morning everybody happy monday happy hot monday <laughs> okay we're not too used to the heat here in ventura it's not usually so crazy warm i'm gonna start with the hips today the gluteus the i don't know what the booty um grab a ball just one tennis ball and um we will start on our backs okay we have a nice vinyasa flow at nine o'clock, but for right now, let's get the hips nice and juicy, a um, little warmed up. Hope everybody's doing well. <sighs> you guys can always uh, text me with any questions or, you know, Facebook Messenger, if that's what you do, just anything. Happy to help anytime. You know I'm a geek about this kind of stuff, so I like thinking about the human body. Um, yeah, here we go. I play my yoga music. I don't know if you guys like to, but I enjoy it. If you want a playlist, I'll, I can shoot you a playlist. I have many, many of them. So, so right hip is what I'm thinking to start with. And um, we'll put the ball underneath the right hip. And I want you just to uh, bridge up, bridge up. Okay, and then just land right in the middle of the glute. Easy does it. And I always say that because the muscle, I don't want it to recoil and, and, and get like, ah, that's terrible. No, it should kind of feel good. Just a light pressure. So I'm lifting myself off of the ball. Then I'm going to pull my knee, my right knee in and out, okay? And I'm just kind of gently opening my hip. Pretty tight today. Oh, I always am though. And so I'm gonna rub, I'm gonna take the ball and go right to left. And just find a place where you can handle it is what I do. It's like, okay, this isn't too bad. I start in the easiest place, the easiest part of the muscle, and I do it there. So I'm just going right to left, all the way kind of towards my tailbone, sacrum, but not on it. And then across the muscle, all the way over to the side, but not on the IT band. So you're just stopping short of that. So just side to side. If you want to add the knee movement, you can. You can knee in as you go medial, knee out as you go lateral. And you can actually use the muscles, just push the knee out. Use the muscles to kind of open up the hip. They're working a little bit. They're not working a lot. They're working a little bit. And if you find that you have the, the hip complexes attached all the way down the hip, the side, into the calf, into the ankle, the, your body's all connected. So. I'm kind of messing around with my foot as I do that. It just feels good. I'm pulling my foot back dorsiflex and plantar flex, and I'm just really trying to open the right hip. So go ahead and just kind of like a coloring crayon. You're rolling right to left, right to left, right to left. You can roll. So try to get the whole muscle, the whole glute, color it in now. Just kind of get the whole thing. And then I like to go all the way lateral and then stretch my leg out. That just feels good for the inner thigh. I'm just kind of stretching it out. All the way to the outside of the glute fibers and then stretch out my leg inner thigh. Find a trigger point, find a trigger point, get there, and put your knee wherever you want it, and just let it sink in. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Find another one. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
and one. Little circles, little something, something. And then go ahead, take your last one, because we're going to go to the other hip. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh, one. Okay, cross your leg over before we go to the other side. And then with, um, push your right, right above the ankle, push it into your left thigh, push it. And then lift and hold behind the left thigh. Big stretch. Rock right to left. Keep pushing your right calf, kind of calf, front of your calf. Push it into the leg. Good. Feels good. Good. Now rock over to the left and hold it. Pull in. Hold it. <laughs> That's a big stretch. Circle the right ankle, circle the left ankle. Circle, pull in, pull in. You're kind of oscillating now. Just in, in, giving a little stretch. Your hips are gonna be awake after this. Right leg goes straight or slightly bent, pull it back. Circle the ankle around, all the way around. Now you can be holding anywhere you want. Yeah, remember, your knee can be bent. If you're tight in the hamstrings, it's okay to bend your knee. And then take your body, I mean, take your leg, your right leg, and go about four inches to the left. Hold this stretch. So this is like the outside of the hamstring. Again, you can bend the knee. It's the outside hamstring. And then I want you to just to go back and forth. Front to back, north to south, whatever, just back and forth. You're just oscillating. So you feel this big stretch. Now you really might feel it in the calf, the outside of the calf, the outside of the hamstring. And you're just pulling, pulling. But your right hip is still on the ground. We're not in a twist. We're in a stretch for this right Keep the right sacrum grounded. That's hard. So keep it down. Wait it. A few more passes of this north to south movement of your leg. Good, good. How's that feel? Roll little circles on your sacrum. Other way. Good. Give yourself a big hug. We're going to go to the left side. You guys ready? Left side ball. Left glute, bridge up, and then you're just going to go in and out, okay? In and out. Left knee in and out. I'll, I'll turn around so it's easier to see. My dog is scaring away bad guys on the beach. <laughs> Anybody's a bad guy to her. <laughs> matter who it is you're on her property if you walk on the beach <laughs> she owns the whole beach that's what she thinks in and out in and out so we're just finding a comfortable spot you might find one glute is tighter than the other <laughs> that happens and then just in and out in and out. Start coloring crayon, the coloring crayon. Start going right to left. And, and then, you know, this is east and west, right to left. You're going side to side. Find. that you can color every bit of the muscle from the bottom to the top. Notice what you notice. I mean, usually one of your gl glutes can be a little tighter than the other. For me, this is the tighter one. For you, it might have been your right one. So coloring crayon, you've got about halfway. Keep going, color in. Mm 
and you can do that external rotation inner thigh stretch if you want just kind of really opening up you'll find when you work with the hip complex the whole thing kind of works as a unit so the inner thigh will get looser the outer thigh gets a little looser the back gets looser as it connects to your hamstring that gets looser and calf everything connected Okay, are we done with that? Good, let's do the trigger points, okay? So get a trigger point, kind of rock around on it. And remember, where was it tight? Try there. Seven seconds. That's just kind of a thing that we do in massage. It's a, just a hold for... And you're kind of letting the muscle go ahead and find another spot. You're, fi you're finding a spot where the muscle kind of relaxes around the ball. You feel... It's tight, and then it just uh, just opens up so nicely. Seven, find another one. Six, five, four, three. Still tight, but it's, find another one. Here we go. This is your last one. Seven, six, five, four, three. Ooh. Oh, Nelly, that's tight. Yep, yeah. okay. Get rid of your ball. Cross over, press your um, ankle above your ankle into your thigh, and externally rotate your left knee, okay? Just push it as, as best you can. I don't want there to be pain, just you're kind of, you can push a little bit, and you're pushing with the muscle in your hip as well. So you're externally, left knee is pushing away from you. Good. Then you're going to hold behind your thigh. Can you do that? That's usually a pretty tight stretch, but go ahead and do that. You can also hold your shin. It's up to you. Wherever your level of comfort is, I'm going to start rocking around. So when I go to the left, it's looser. When I go over to the right, tighter. Good. Just kind of rock around. Organically do what feels good. I'm going to let that go, and I'm stretching out my hamstring, right foot on the ground. Remember, the knee can bend. Mess around with your ankle and your calf, so, because the whole thing's connected, so kind of mess around with it. Circle your ankle, spread your toes, and then let's do a little cross body. North to south. So cross body, you're over to the right, your left glute is down and your left sacrum, but you're going front to back. So this might be way down here, that's fine. Way down here is fine. But you feel the stretch all the way from your hip down your hamstring into your calf. Good morning. Hi. Front to back, front to back. Keep going. A couple more passes at that front to back. How you doing? Yay. Did you get the leg stretches? No rolling on the hips. Let's see. I was unmuting my friend Austin. Anyway, Austin, I did the hips. Yeah. I did the hip complex. So, if you want to repeat it on Facebook Live later, you can. Because did okay. you get it or no? You just joined. I just joined right now. Okay, no big deal. Okay, everybody, Facebook Live. We're gonna do Vinyasa Flow now, and. Um, yeah. We will have a good time, I hope. Um, I'm gonna mute everybody and take everybody off camera, so I'm muting you guys now. Yeah, good. And let's see, there we go. I think I got everybody done, yeah, good.
Okay, good morning. If you just joined, we're gonna do a little bit of vinyasa flow. If you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna wait and see. Oh yeah, what I did, okay. Okay, we're gonna start laying down. We are starting easy does it, okay? So if you had a wall, you could put your legs up the wall. Um, I'm not gonna move away from the camera. I don't have a wall, so right here. So I'm just gonna put my legs straight up. You can do that, okay? Like your legs are up a wall. And then um, you can just relax your arms like a, a cactus. And then uh, you're gonna just pull your toes back and you're gonna walk like this, like you're walking. Let your sacrum relax, just walk. Oh, that feels good. Point your toes. Flex your feet, toes back. Point your toes. Flex your feet. Point your toes one more time. And flex. And then give yourself a little hug. Circle on your lower back and go the other way. And while we're down here, let's take the legs wide, bend the knees. So the feet are kind of outside your mat. They're pretty wide. Drop the knees to the right. Let your arms just go. So that left leg, line up the knee with your hip joint and pull your toes back towards your shin. Lift your arms over your head like in a Y. So you're getting longer from your left knee to your left fingertips. And make sure you don't feel it in the left knee. I want you to feel it in the left quadricep, the front of your leg. Yeah, good. And then just pivot on your heels over to the other side. Knees drop to the left. Right knee in line with your right hip. And arms go over your head. Stretch from your right fingertips all the way out the right knee. Feel the nice stretch. Easy does it. Good. Very nice. Good. And then just um, pull your knees in again. I want to come up and start getting you going for some work. But let's start seated. Cross your legs. For those of you that are really tight, if this doesn't work, you can be up on a yoga block. You can sit on a yoga block. That works. Um, or a pillow. That works. And then your seated pose is so much easier because you want the knees to kind of drop down. You know, just they're dropped. It's easier if you're higher. So let's take our right hand, lift it up. Left hand's over here. Wave to your friends. Good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> Good. So you're going to rock over just a little bit more. Over and hold. So this left arm is going to lift you up and out of your left ribs. And then the right arm is going to lift up to the ceiling and over. The right shoulder falls back, the left shoulder forward. So your heart is lifting up to the sky. Lift up, up and over. So remember, everybody looks pretty different in these poses. And then I want you to roll down. Oh, the right arm goes down and reaches over there. Drop your head. Come back, lift up. Get a pec stretch here, reach your arm back, pec stretch, and then go all the way forward. And side. <laughs> Good, one more. Reach up and over. Go down. Walk through middle. Roll up. Good, right arm down. Left arm, hello guys. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm 
watching myself, which is like so strange. I can't see you guys, but over we go. This is my tight side, so you might have a tight side. Just want to pull your belly in as you kind of go over. You're just kind of giving yourself a stretch and then not too much, just enough to make it feel good. And then we're gonna pause over here. Here we go. Take the arm back. So your pec stretch, lift the heart up. And then you're gonna bow. You can round your back down. Bow over, kind of towards your right knee. Come on up. Back and up. And that can be anywhere you want it to be. I don't want you to stress it. Maybe it looks down. Maybe it looks up. I don't know. Maybe it looks forward. Wherever it's comfortable. Bow one more time. And one more time up. Good. I want you to come through center. Good, good, good. And then just come up on your legs. Let's take a couple breaths together. Long, tall spine. Pull in your belly. So just lift your spine high. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit of a pull in. Breathing in through your nose. Out through your nose. And it's almost like the exhale is like the sound of a wave. Close your eyes or not, whatever you need. A couple more breaths. Coming into your intention or dedication for your practice today it could be anything. Something for yourself, some kind of intention that you want to set for yourself, or maybe, maybe you dedicate the class to the world. Could be as for peace, it could be anything, something inside or something outside you, just whatever it needs to be. And then gently open your eyes and come to all fours. You get your pillow out of the way or block. And those of you who have a block, you can use it in the practice. They're good for folds, they're good for a lot of different things, especially if you're tight. But if you're um, if you don't need it, you don't need it. Hands down. Knees are underneath your hips. So you're in this pose. Put your right foot back and then press it straight and stretch your calf. Good, so you're just pressing the heel back. Now you're gonna lift your right leg up, pull your belly in and your left arm up. Like you're gonna shake somebody's hand with your left arm and elbow to knee and elbow to knee, one more. Now lift the leg up, the right leg goes up, bends in half, the left arm comes around to grab the ankle, if this feels good, it may not, kick. Look over your left shoulder, kick the leg, pull your abs in, four, three, two, let it go. And drop it down. Good. Couple of cat cows. Let's drop our belly. Inhale. Exhale. Roll up. Look at your belly button. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just one more. And then anything you need, you can come forward. You can set your hips back. Long stretch. And you guessed it, we're gonna do the left leg. So all the way back, push your left heel back. Stretching out your calf, just push into the left heel. Ah, good, lift the left leg up. Right arm goes forward, that's it. Hold it there, elbow to knee. And out. Use your abdominals, elbow to knee. One more. Hold it out. Bend the left leg in half. Right arm comes around. Hold the ankle. Kick. Look over your
over your right shoulder. Good. Belly tight. Four, three, two. Left leg goes out. You place your arm down, knee down. This time we're going to do plank to pike. So come on up and down dog. Lift the hips up. Forward you go. To your plank. Let the abs pick you up and go back to your dog. Plank, the ripple through your abdominals. You feel them contracting. Plank. Now I want you to bend the elbows one inch. Straight back. Head, neck, and shoulders up. Good. Lift up your belly. Straighten your elbows. Down dog. Ripple back out. You're in plank again. This time take the elbows out to the side. Point them out to the side. Now take them and point them back. Now straighten them up and go back to dog. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Bend your left knee. Look under your right armpit. Bend your left knee. Hike your right hip up. Good. Right knee bends. Look under your left. Hike your left hip up, kind of stretching your left thigh. Back to dog, regular dog, back to plank. You can go to your knees. We're going all the way to the ground, chaturanga. Bend your elbows, okay? Bend your elbows all the way down. Good. Tent your fingers out to the side. We're going to do some back extension. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. Do you, do you contract your glutes? Not a trick question. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes, your glutes are contracted and your tail tucked. Inhale, exhale up. A couple more. Getting longer from the crown of your head to your tail. Inhale, exhale up. Look over your right shoulder. Come on down. Inhale, exhale up. Look over your left shoulder. Great. Go on down. One more. Straight in. Good. Very nice. Come on down. Remember on back extension, you go up as far as you like. Only as far as your back likes. Take your hands underneath you. Get ready. Inhale. Under your shoulders. Exhale to plank. Inhale here, exhale dog. We're gonna do a three-legged dog, toes to touch, right leg lifts. Knee comes in to nose, right leg lifts. Knee comes in to nose. Right leg lifts, and your last one, knee to nose, right leg steps between your hands. Come on up to crescent. So as if you're on not a tightrope, but railroad tracks. So separate the feet, use the width of your mat, lift your arms up, sink, good. Okay, we're going to use the, the legs a little bit now. So lean forward. And I want you to take your hands and paddle. Paddle the water. Pretend you're paddling. Press back. Lift your chest open. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Lean over your right leg. Lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Big paddle. Paddle and lean. Pull in your abdominals. Good. Inhale, you can bend the left knee. Exhale, straighten the left knee, paddle, lean forward. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. 
Great job. One more. Exhale, paddle. Hold. Reach your hands by your ears. This will be feel harder. Reach out. Good. Long body. Last four. Last three. Last two. Left arm down, right hand up. Lunge twist. Right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. Take your right hand down. We're just gonna step the right leg back. Chaturanga. From the knees or from the feet, bend your elbows right by your ribs and lift up to either it can be like a sphinx or an up dog or some kind of back extension. Um, so these up dogs, they're active, glutes are active. Turn your toes under down dog. Step your toes to touch. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale in. Curl in. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. Left leg steps in. You're in crescent. Remember, you're going to have the railroad ties again. Arms up. You can bend that back knee. That's fine. When you straighten it, it's just a little bit more of a stretch. So either one's fine. We're going to paddle. You guys ready to paddle? <sighs> paddle. So palms up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pull your abs in. Left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward, hold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, paddle, lean. Ears are really far away from the shoulders, inhale. Left knee is pushing to the left, exhale, paddle. Using the outside of your left glute to really push the knee to the left. And do it again two more times. Good, just one more time. We're waking up. Inhale, exhale, paddle back and hold. Pushing the left knee to the left. The abs are tight. Your hips are level because you're straight forward. Lift the arms by your ears. Hold. Four, three, two. We're gonna do a lunge twist. Right arm comes down, left hand up. Really rotate from your abdominals. Pull them in. Left arm down, left leg steps back for a chaturanga from your knees or feet. Whatever you feel you can do to a back extension. Up, bend the elbows. Up dog is on the tops of your feet. Crown of your head straight up. Your glutes are connected. Your abs are tight. Roll over the tops of your feet. Down dog. Bend your knees a few times. You're just going to bend. Place your hands in the middle of your mat. You're going to hop your feet to the outside of your hands. Ready, set, hop. Now I want you to stay here with a nice flat back. We're in a squat. It's a pretty wide squat. Good. Take the hands by the ears and hold. Paddle. Good, lift up over your ears. Paddle back. A lot of work on the legs. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale back. One more, inhale. Exhale back, take the arms forward, and stand up. Step the feet to touch. Hands to prayer. Take a breath. One more breath. Sweep the arms up and around. This time I want you to cactus. So cactus the arms and fall back a little bit. Glutes engaged, tail tuck. So you've got a little tuck under. 
I got a trick question for you. Which muscles are you contracting the most as you fall back? It's the abdominals. You might think the back body, and you are using it, but the abdominals are what hold them tight. The farther you fall back, you'll feel those abs kind of really catching. Inhale up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift up higher. Exhale, back to plank. You can skip this chaturanga if you want. Go straight to dog. Chaturanga, up dog. Down dog. This is Surya Namaskar A. You can hop or step forward. Little steps forward, forward fold. Lift your heart high. Straighten your spine. Exhale to bow down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, go back. That's the big arch, the big opening of your chest. Inhale up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lift your spine nice and flat. Exhale, you can hop or step back to plank, chaturanga, or down dog. You choose. Just one more. Surya Namaskar A. You can hop, step, or float. Forward fold, inhale. Lengthen, heart open. Exhale to fold. Inhale, we're gonna add on. Exhale, go back. A crescent pose, okay? So inhale up, exhale, dive down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step or hop back to plank, chaturanga. You can do it any way you want. Everybody meaning in dog. Right leg lifts. Right leg steps forward. You're back in your crescent. You've been here before. Inhale. Good. Exhale, sink it. Yeah, we've already been here, so no big deal for us. We know where to go. Take a bind behind you. Lift the chest up. Lift it up. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Maybe you bend the left knee a little bit. Fingers go down to the ground. Lift your heart up to the ceiling. Maybe you gaze up. One more breath. Lift the arms up. Inhale. Exhale to the ground. Step the right leg back. Chaturanga or down dog. behind your back. Fingers go down to the floor. Tail tuck, especially on this right side. Sink. Lift your chest up to the sky. Gaze up if possible. And just take a few breaths here. Lift your arms up. Inhale. Exhale down. Step the left leg back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Bend the knees. A couple of times you're going to be taking your fingers in to touch a little bit because you're going to hop again right to the outsides of your arms. Ready, set, hop. Squat. So you're like in a frog position. The back is flat. From this position, I don't want you all the way down in Malasana with the hips dropped. I want them up. So your glutes are about knee height. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Lift your arms by your ears. We're just going to stand up from here. Up. But I want you to go straight back down. Send your hips back. About halfway there. Lift up. Good. 
<coughs> sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. I've got a frog position and a frog in my throat. <coughs> I'm gonna grab a drink. Go ahead, stand up. Down, halfway. Good, stand up, lift straight up. Squeeze your glutes, one more. Push your glutes back. I want you to make sure both of them contract equally. Hands by your ears. <laughs> Push your glutes back just a little bit more and stand up. Both glutes contracting. Beautiful, good. Let's do a little side stretch. Arms over your head. Stretch to one side, it won't matter what side. But that arm that you're stretching that side, that, that shoulder's open. Heart open. So it's a slight twist. Pull in your abs, tighten your glutes, go another inch over, stretch longer. Oh, that feels good. And other side, inhale. I grab my wrist, exhale, stretch over. But twist so the heart is up to the sky. Tighten your glutes, a little tail tuck maybe. Pull in on the abdominals and the head is right between your arms. Stretch open. Ah, oh, there it is. Good. Now we get another breath here to go deeper. Inhale, exhale. Up. We're gonna arch back, go back. Cactus, go back further. Back further. Arms frame the ears, hold. Don't collapse in the spine. Lift the chest up to the sky. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, back to plank. Hold your plank. We're gonna do a little side plank, okay? So what I'll ask you to do, I'm gonna face you, is go to your right arm and flip onto your side. I hope this is comfortable. If not, you can take the left hand down too, okay? Just turn your feet though. So if you're practicing side plank, this is great. If you wanna lift a leg, you can. Bind if you like. Take your left hand down, plank. Left arm, I'm gonna just turn away from you. The right arm can stay down or not. Side plank on your left arm down. You can lift your right leg. You can bind on your right leg. It's up to you. Side plank is fine. Right hand down is fine. Plank pose. Inhale and exhale, down dog. Step your toes to touch. Right leg lifts. This time, bend your right knee, stack your hips. So open up your right hip. Kick your right heel to your glute. Good. Take your right knee over to your right tricep and pause. Lift it up. Right knee to the left tricep and pause. Lift it up. Right knee straight in. This is your last one. <laughs> Crescent. Okay, we've been here. We know where to go. Our body knows what to do. Sink in. Let's paddle back. Lean forward. So we're going to set up for a warrior three. You're going to be balancing on your right leg, okay? Now that left foot can tap down. This can be your warrior three. You can lift it up an inch. That can be your warrior three, or you're all the way over. Balancing on your right leg. Use your abdominals. Lift your left knee up, half stack. Arms go overhead. Straighten your left leg. Cross it over, figure four. Hands to prayer, come on down. 
You can sink down further. The elbows can reach. The hands can reach. Wherever you go, just make sure it feels good on your left hip, okay? We're going to reverse out of this, okay? So come on up. Knee comes up. Warrior three, you're back there. Whatever version you chose. Bend your right knee. Step the left leg back. Crescent, inhale. Good. Lunge twist, left arm down, right hand up. Right hand down. Step back to plank. This time, I want you to flip your heels to the right. Hands down. And then I want you to take your arms both down. Twist your left hip back, right hip down, and do a few push-ups. Just working on right oblique. Just do a few more. And that's enough. Hold. Plank pose. Flip your heels to the left. Right hip goes up, left hip goes down. Oblique push-ups, here we go. Bend the elbows. Couple more. Good. Plank pose, down dog. Hold your dog, hold your dog. Step your toes to touch, left leg lifts. Open the hip, bend the knee, stack your hips. Left knee goes to your left tricep, here we go. Come on over, pause and hold. Lift up. Left knee goes to your right tricep, pause and hold. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, crescent. Come on up. We've been here before. Come on up. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Now we're going to fly, leaning forward, paddle back. You're going to get light on this right foot or you're going to lift it up for warrior three. Inhale, exhale. Blast off. <laughs> Blast off. There we go. Hips are level. You can put your hands on your hips, make sure they're level. Lift the right leg up. Lift the right knee up, slowly, half staff. We're gonna do a figure four from here, cross over, hands come to prayer. We bend the left knee to stretch this right outer thigh, glute. You can go lower if you want, go to the floor. Good, come on up. We're reversing out of this, so you're gonna take your knee up again. And you're gonna do one more warrior three, one more, that's it. Tip over. Lift from your glute on that right side, lift up. Bend your left knee, step back crescent, inhale. Exhale, lunge, twist, right arm goes down, left hand up. Twist from your belly, really straighten the right leg. Good, and then just step back to dog. So I want you to do a little bitty dog. So walk in, so you're in a short dog. <laughs> and then take your right arm to your left leg. And twist. Right arm down, left arm to your right leg. Twist, you're looking under your arms. You can bend your knees. Yeah, just twist. You're twisting from your head to your tail. Kind of twisting. Great. 
Replace your left arm. Step back to a normal old dog. Come to plank. And we're going to come down and just do a few locusts. So come on down. All the way down. And let's take our hands behind us, palms down. Okay. Inhale. Slide your fingers back to your feet and lift up like you're like a mermaid on the boat. Lift up. Lift up your knees too, okay? Slide up. Use your glutes to hold you up. Use them. Contract your glutes. Good. Down you go. You can rest for a second. The next one will be bound. You'll take your hands behind your back, okay? Forehead down. The other thing I want you to do is really pull your nose away from the mat and then really elongate the back of your neck. So the back of the neck is so long. So give yourself a little double chin. <laughs> Here we go, double chin. Double chin pose. Here we go. Lift your legs, lift your arms, double chin. Press your arms to your feet. Get long. You can let them go if you want. Tighten up the triceps. Pinky fingers up, thumbs down, palms facing in. Last four, three, two, rest. One more locust, come on up. Are you tail tucking? You should be. Here we go, double chin, lift up. Lift up the legs. Arms can go over your head if you want, or bound, or anywhere. Airplane wings, you can do that anywhere you want them to be. I like bound. It kind of gives my shoulders an extra stretch. You're tightening your glutes, but you are turn your tail's turned under just a hair. Give yourself a little bit of the front pelvis working towards up to the front ribs. Four, three, two and let it go, relax. And then when you're ready, you can push back to child's pose. Knees out, feet together, arms long. So I'm gonna give you a choice. I told you I'd do an inversion today. I'm gonna use my couch. So if I pretended my couch was the back of a wall, the back the back of it. I'm going to put my feet there. So my body's going to be like a, an upside down L. And I'm going to be on my hands. You could also be on your elbows for scorpion, like a scorpion pose. Um, but um, I want my leg to be about, I actually think I'm going to do it right here, get more support. So let me just show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get fairly close. I'm going to be on my hands and I'm just going to step my feet up and my, my body is going to be right. My hips are going to try to be walking towards my head. I'm holding this pose. Are you guys doing it yet? Grab a wall, grab a couch, go ahead and come on up. Elbows or hands. If you don't want to do this pose, it's fine. You can stay in child's or do something else. Headstand is fine as well. You're strengthening your arms. Push up out of your shoulders. Push your hips further over your head. Push up. Really use your shoulder blades. Use your shoulders. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one, good, come on down and relax. Good job, give your arms a stretch a nice shoulder stretch, maybe a neck stretch, side to side. We're going to do Surya Namaskar B with a warrior one. So come on back to dot down dog. 
We'll do one round on either side. Hop, step, or float. You're going to go straight to a fold. And you can do little baby steps or hop. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Really send the hips back. Good, so from here you're just gonna touch earth, step or hop back to plank, do a chaturanga or just go straight to dog. Inhale up, if you're doing the back extension, I love that. Gets the hips kind of loosened up, front of the hips and down dog. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale the right knee, in and step the right leg right between your hands. Turn the left toe down. And heel, that's warrior one, come on up. So the hips are turned forward, but your left leg is slightly at an angle. Your right knee is bent right over the ankle. Inhale, two more breaths. Good, you can cactus the arms. Let's take the elbows down and back and just open. Nice opening. Pull in your belly, tail tuck a little bit. I don't want you to hurt your back. Inhale, exhale down. Another chaturanga or a down dog. You choose it, it's your class. Everybody meeting in dog. Left leg lifts. Pull it in, left leg pulls between your hands. Drop the right heel, right toes slightly out, lift up. Turn your hips, lift up. Good, let's bend the elbows kind of towards the waist and back you go. Lift the chest up. Push your left knee to the left, right hip to the left. Everything's going forward, yes? Inhale. Exhale to the ground, chaturanga or down dog. I'm just doing a down dog this way, getting tired. Oh, I've got a few more poses for you before we go down onto the ground, okay? Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale the right leg forward between your hands. I'm gonna turn around and face you. Turn the left foot at an angle. Line up the right heel with your left instep. This is a completely different pose, warrior two. Here we go. Warrior two, your hips are turned side, not forward. In crescent and warrior one, our hips are forward, right? This one, you're completely open. Lift. You might find one's easier for you than another. This one's easier for me. The other ones are harder. Lift your right hand high. Lift up. Exalted warrior. Peaceful warrior. Arc your right ribs. You can go back a little bit if you want. Breathe into the ribs a couple of times. You might feel it open up through your oblique. One more breath. We're going to angle pose. So you'll rest on your right thigh or you will go to the floor wherever you go. Take your arm and press out a little bit. Press the right knee out to the right. If you wanna make it more difficult or more stretch, I should say on the left side, left hand goes by your ear, left arm. Stretch out a little bit more. So many variations on this pose. I'll give you a bind, you don't have to do it. The left hand goes behind your back and it's back by your right leg, the outside of your right leg. The right hand goes underneath and grabs the hand and you open up the shoulders. Finally, you can take the left leg in. Don't do it if you're new. Walk your right leg in, you're in a bind. You stand up on the right leg. I mean on the left leg, sorry the right leg is bound. Straighten out the right leg if you like. Otherwise you stayed in angle. 
come on out when you're ready. And then lift up, back to warrior two. Straighten the right leg. And then from here, I step in a little bit with my left leg, lift the right arm up again, opening the right ribs, lift up, peaceful. And then take the hands parallel to the earth and then pop your left hip out to the best of your ability, pop it out, reach forward, elongating through the ribs, left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. And then the arm goes to the leg for triangle. So you can be here, might have a little bit further you can stretch just go where you feel comfortable again the left arm can go over the ear we're gonna take one more pose here you can use this left arm but you don't have to you're gonna look in front of you bend the right knee a little bit about 12 inches in front of your right foot your right arm will land there. This is where you can use a block too. The right hand can go to the block. And you lift the arm up. So you're, it's called half moon, left leg up. For those of you who want a little challenge, need a little excitement in your life, just come off your right hand and hover. Bend your right knee, step back, warrior two. Exalted warrior, we're gonna cartwheel down. We're done with this side. Back to plank, chaturanga if you want. Down dog, everybody meeting in dog. I got a little surprise for you. A little bit of abdominal work. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Can you hop? Hop and float. <laughs> hop forward. Ta-da! You're going to be in boat pose, okay? <laughs> Here we go. You can hold your thighs. <laughs> We're going to do a few abs, okay? So, you ready? Say yes. We're going to go from high boat to low boat. You can hold your legs. You can have a supported like this, or you can do it with no hands. Here we go, low to high, that's 10. Make sure you don't feel it in your lower back. Abs, nine, eight, exhale, seven, six, five, four, no ego, no ego, amigos. I want you to do it with your abs. Two more, I'm not a good counter, so I don't know. Hold, hold your big toes. You can bend your knees or straighten. You're gonna do something funky. You're gonna rock and come up and balance. You guys ready? We come up and balance. Good, so the, the back is straight. Now you're gonna round your spine, roll. You can grunt like I just did. No, you're supposed to be graceful about this. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One more. So bend the knees. We're gonna rock up to Malasana. So your feet will go like to the edges of the mat. You're gonna pop right up into a squat. See if you can do it. You can take five rocks. Ready? One, two, your feet will go wide. Three, four, one more, five. Did you make it? <laughs> Step up. Good. That's just for fun. Straightening out my mat. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, bow. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step back, plank. You can do your chaturanga or go right to down dog. Your choice. I like to hang on my up dog. It just feels good. Down dog. 
Left leg lifts. Step forward. So you're going to line up the left heel with your right instep. My mat is getting sweaty, so I'm taking it out of the way because I keep slipping on it. Your left knee is over your ankle. It's pushed to the left. Your right hip is contracted. It's down. It's not lifted up. It's down. Your arms are relaxed like you could fly away. The arms are relaxed. The legs are working. You just got a few seconds in this pose. Get down into your right inner thigh. Then lift your left arm up straight up. I want you to have length on this side too, so I don't want you to collapse down. Lift up and then start to arc the left ribs. So pull them open. Really separate that bottom rib from your pelvis and arch back a little bit. Breathe into those ribs. Good, you got it. And then you're gonna go to angle. So you'll be resting here. The right hand can be on your side, it can be up, it can be behind your back, whatever you need. And then if you went to the floor, you'll go to the floor again. Stretch out. If you put your hand over your ear, do it again. Make your sides nice and even. That's one of the main things is kind of measuring out, making sure, be, kind of being a scientist with your body. And so you can make sure that you're not stretching out one side and not another. Match them up. Right hand. If you bound, you bound, bind on this side. And then if you step the right leg in, you do it on this side too. And lift the left leg bound. Whenever you're ready, you're back to your angle. And you're back to your warrior two. Lift up. Good, straighten your left leg. I get a little more narrow. Lift the left arm again. Lift up. Arms go parallel to the earth. Kick your right hip out. Right shoulder back. Reach the left arm out and then down. If you notice, I mirrored back away from you. So I always say the, um, I always try to say the, the, lay, the side I'm working because it's so confusing to try to do otherwise. If you guys know how to unmirror myself, I will do it on my computer. I think there's a way. So you guys don't, it just looks like I'm doing the opposite of what I say. Right arm can go over your head for right ribs or stay up. Stay here or remember we did the half moon. So we bent our knee and the left hand went on a block or it went on the floor. Lift your right leg up. We didn't bind on the other side. I think I forgot to say the bind where you can kick your right knee into the air, but that's okay. You can float up for that little excitement in your life. Just float up, find your balance. Arms reaching away from each other. Four, three, two, warrior two. Peaceful warrior, left arm lifts. And we're going to the ground. Cartwheel down. Step to plank. You can do one more chaturanga to kind of, this is kind of like a, a tune-up for your body. Sort of, symmet you just kind of get it more symmetrical. And then go back to a child's, child's pose all the way back. Guys, back to the back side. So go ahead and kick back. We're going to do a bridge. We're doing a shoulder stand and a bridge and a twist. Okay? And then we'll be done. So go on back. Just take your hands down by your side. Just nice and easy. Bend the knees. The feet are lined up with your hip bones. And all I want you to do is just lift up the hips. Make sure your knees aren't out or in touching. They're lined up with your hips. So you've got the gluteus 
medius working and your inner thighs. So you're, you're completely lined up. You can walk your shoulders underneath you. You can bind underneath you. And you can stay there. Or you can come down and set up for wheel. The hands go behind you. Fingers pointing towards your glutes. Your elbows go in the air. Inhale. Then you can exhale up. Don't do it unless it feels good. Coming out of bridge or wheel whenever you like. Legs in the air. And this is another one you can use the block. The block can go right here under your sacrum and you can just push your legs in the air. If you're gonna do shoulder stand, make sure that all the weight stays on your head and your eyes look straight up. I mean, the weight stays on your shoulders, sorry. Not your neck or your head, sorry. And you never look sideways. So don't look at the computer to see what's going on. You just, you can look at the computer right now, but then stop, okay? Inhale and exhale up. <laughs> This is your shoulder stand. Do not look sideways. I'm not gonna look sideways at you. My eyes are straight up to my feet. I'm gonna separate all 10 toes and I'm gonna zip up my inner thighs, my calves and my ankles, but separate my toes. And here I stay for one minute. Breathe and relax. The chin is off your chest. The eyes look up. Go ahead and join me. And then just listen for verbal cues. I don't want you to hurt your neck. I want everything. The weight's on your triceps and it's on your shoulder blades. It's spread across that. But your glutes are tight and you're lifted straight up. Chin off your chest so you can breathe. <laughs> Make sure you can breathe. <laughs> and swallow. That's another test. Figure four in this position. You can pull your legs down to your nose. Lift back up, figure four, <laughs> here we go. And pull your legs down to your nose. Lift straight back up. From here, we're gonna take the legs back. Keep the weight on your shoulders though. Don't let the weight transfer to your neck. That's important, so you're gonna go back. Now this might be as far as you go. But maybe you can go to the ground. That would be hamstring flexibility. If you reach the ground, your arms go on the mat. If not, your hands stay on your hips. Reach your legs back for a hamstring stretch. From here, roll down. Good, and set your knees down and over to the right. You got a twist. We're almost done. This is the last pose. Remember I told you it's going to be the end of our class. So just open up your arms. We're not working anymore. If you want to straighten the top leg, you can. That feels good. IT band. But if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Just twist. Easy twist or IT band twist. knee then right. Rock little circles. Knees to the left guys, knees to the left. Shoulders flat. Straighten your top leg which would be the right leg if you like. It's up to you. Make sure it feels really good. doing in yoga, less is more. Back it off, especially if you're new or you've got some tight muscles for some reason. Back off and do a little bit less and you'll find it works better that way. It's a lifelong practice. You want to be really gentle with yourself. Bend 
the right knee if it's straight, bring it up. Happy baby. Legs go in the air, pulling down. The knees are kind of going towards the shoulders. Pull your knees down. So you can go in Supta Baddha Konasana with the soles of your feet together if you like right now just to get a little inner thigh. We actually didn't do that much of that today. Your arms go out, palms up. It's time for you to receive good energy, open up your heart. I like to really get my neck long at this point, so I kind of I kind of just suction cup my T-spine, the mid-spine, and then I scoot and I get my neck really long and uh, Oh, just everything long and relaxed and breathing into your belly, opening up your shoulders. Breathe and relax. Allow the breath to fill and nourish your entire body. Now, if the Supta Baddha Konasa is getting intense or you want to change it to a typical Shavasana, go ahead and straighten your legs out. I like my feet kind of flopped out to the side and inner thighs kind of up to the ceiling. Just really opening the body. Receiving energy from all your friends. Try to feel it. I know we are in our living room, but feel it. It is there. It is there. And everybody wants to share the love. Everybody just wants to share it. All your friends. Everybody practicing with you. That's why we're here. Just open up and breathe. Allow it to nourish every cell in the body, from your toes to the crown of your head to the tips of your fingers. Let it just flow through you. Get the breath longer and longer. Keep breathing in and out, long breaths, maybe holding at the top of the breath for a second, and then holding again at the bottom of the breath, holding empty. Bringing your best self to the practice is more important than how you actually executed the practice. So bringing your best self and being proud of yourself for doing it, that's really important. It doesn't really matter how we look, it's that we brought the best we could. We did the best we could today. So when you're ready, you can start to circle your um, wrists and your um, fingers and your toes and your ankles and maybe take a stretch overhead and then come to seated. Again, you can sit on the block that's really nice for backs and hips. Just sit on the block. Let your knees open. I forgot to do my bell. I'll ring it now. The sound of the bell brings us back.
you're seated or if you're in your uh, relaxing pose at home, that's really awesome. A long shavasana is just the best. Just completely relax, clearing your mind. Inhale the arms up if you're seated. Exhale to your heart center. Now begins your practice. Namaste. Have a great day, you guys, and thank you. Mwah. Hugs to everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs>